friends, it's me, Kylie. Welcome to the studio. Today we're making a quick craft that's also like a magic trick. We're going to use a smooth plate, some water, and some dry erase markers. Get ready. This really is amazing, and I've been wanting to try it for a long time, but I was waiting for you. So, now that you're here, let's do it. These are dry erase markers, which means they aren't water soluble. That means that water doesn't wash them away. That's one of the main keys to how this trick works. What we're gonna do is use a dry erase marker to draw a shape onto a smooth plate. I'm gonna start with a star. Do you know how to draw a star? I'll show you. So the first thing you do is draw two lines at an angle to make like most of a triangle, just like that. Zoop, zoop. Then you're going to draw a line straight across like this, kind of up by the top, but leaving a little point. The next thing you do is connect these unconnected lines to each other. So, zoop, 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 zoop. And there you go, you drew a star. I'm gonna color mine in. And now, the magic. We are going to take some water, this is warm water, and slowly add it to our plate. The motion of the water is going to counteract the stickiness of the ink on the plate. But because the ink is not water soluble and because it's lighter than the water, hopefully it will unattach from the plate and float to the top. Let's try it. All right, I'm gonna add my water in very slowly. It's starting to work already. See it coming up? Come here. The star floats and moves right on top of the water. It totally worked. I am the dancing star on a plate. This is so fun. Let's try some different colors. A light blue star. Red. Ooh, maroon, brown, dark blue. I wonder if different color inks will work better than some of the other colors. This is turning into a good experiment. Dark green, light brown, light green. All right, let's try it. Whoa, some of them came up right away. Let's give it a little wiggle. What did we discover in this experiment so far? The red, the light blue, Plum, light green, pink, and dark brown worked pretty well. This green fell right apart in the water. For some reason, the black didn't really work this time. Neither did the purple. I wonder why. Do you think it's because we put them on closer to the end? Could be. Let's try again with just these colors and see if we can get all of our stars to work. Here we go. goes pink. There goes orange. Oh yeah, it's totally gonna work. Wow. I 
kept these stars that worked really well in this experiment so that I could show you something else fun you can do if you do this at home. I took a straw and now I'm gonna move them all around. I love this! Now that we figured out how to get a lot of stars going on our plate, Ooh, I want to show you one more thing you can do at home. Dish soap breaks the surface tension of water. So, if these stars are floating on top of the water, what do you think will happen when we put a little dish soap in and break the surface that they're floating on? Only one way to find out. <gasps> Did you see that? They all moved away. It's like these stars really don't like bath time. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again, except this time, I'm gonna add some glitter and see what happens. You can never go wrong adding a little glitter. Wow, it totally looks like the galaxy. Made a, a black hole. <laughs> it's white, but you know what I mean. This was even cooler than I thought it was gonna be, but mostly it was cool because you were here. I love hanging out with you. If you wanna make more things with me or try some more experiments, just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E, -E. that's me. See you next time.